V Charmaine Roll here of FIE's Junkaloo Rush Unsung Heroes. I am on Blue Hill Road to the printer place to the man called Gippy. Gippy, give us your full name. Uh, my full name is Anthony uh, Gibson. Anthony Gibson. Folks, this here is one of the persons I've been looking to catch and I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Gippy, give us a little history about yourself, your involvement in Junkanoo, how it has evolved over the years, evolved over the years. Uh, I've been in Junkanoo since uh, 1970, I think, uh, just out of school. Okay, uh, 1970. Was... Man, yeah. I even ask you how much I said this. Calculate and I could then see the figures. Boy, that's Call a long, something anyway. That's a long Lick time. Lick them with it. Call them. Call that's it. about uh, almost 40-something 40 40 years. 40-something eh? years, you're correct. Yeah. Okay, so tell us now your involvement. Where did you start out? Well, I used to be, uh, a, a group of us used to be stage dancers, miming, and one time Willa saw us and uh, he asked me and another partner to join the Saxons and uh, come in as dancers. And from then I was drawing, designing, and dancing. Uh, of late, which would be maybe 15 years or so, I stopped building uh, large pieces and just do designs now and from time to time I consult um, that's more of what I do now than oh, consultation building. okay so I, which group do you really consult the Saxons well anybody oh, everybody anybody any, who needs anybody consultation who asks consultation or who asks ideas okay. uh, I give them ideas uh, on what I think mm -hmm. now I think we we could take Junkanoo to another level though and another area. Okay. Take it in a different direction. Okay, give us but an idea of the direction. Well, you know, it's just throw it out there. Well, I I think uh, it it needs to be a money maker. Okay, uh, revenue. We need revenue, to bring in yeah. revenue, correct? It, it it could be another industry, uh, but the way they approach it now is different. Mm -hmm. But they need to think out of the box. And do some radical things, and to uh, almost similar to carnival, but different. Mm -hmm. There's a distinct difference between Junkanoo and carnival. They need to keep it that way. We need to take a different approach on how we present Junkanoo to the world, so the world can pay us for what we do. Boy, that is so true. Uh, you said it. You said money, it in a mouthful. Yeah, for the amount of money we That's invest. That's putting to it. Do you know that every Junkanoo that comes to Bay Street who is really serious about the craft spends average about $500 on their costume in terms of getting it together, getting it beautified. And that's why we say a million dollars is normally spent on one parade out of the pockets of the Junkanoo. And anybody who spend that amount of money, and that's the smallest. Get. That's the smallest amount. I, I and it go from there and up. It even ain't under. Yeah, anybody who, who spend that amount of money on anything should get some uh, compensation. Some for it. compensation, right. some returns or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you look at a Junkano group putting in that amount of money, say four hundred persons or more, mm -hmm. you need to think of how you can get that back. When you add the four or five major groups and the 10 uh, B category groups, right. that's a lot of money that you're investing in a culture and there is no continuous return. Mm -hmm. You get an immediate return and uh, a pleasure from it, but it should be something continuous. And I think the Government not need to lead the pack, but need to assist the pack, put people together and ask them, how can we get some returns on our monies that we're putting into this? Mm -hmm. And they'll find that the Junkanoo could be the industry itself. It could be a, a <laughs> educational tool as well. But there are some other areas that it can go into where... If you bring in your supplies, mm -hmm. you should be able to get returns on those. All right. There you have it, folks, in a nutshell. Now, Kippy, 
tell the people your number here if they want the shirt printed. Folks, we are on Blue Hill Road. Kippy located on Hay Street and Blue Hill Road. You're heading north. north. Give us the telephone number so if they ready, folks, look at the place. You know, come get your t-shirts and stuff. Give us the number, Gippy. Uh, 325. 325. 3567. 3567. Uh, email. Email. Give designs at yahoo.com. There you have it, folks. You ready for bed? You want to get them shirts? Come check Gippy out. See, he's showing me everything. Thank you so much, Gippy.